template plus a bit of garbage equals a pretty cool looking modular sci-fi door. Hey guys, welcome back to Black Magic Craft. This episode is sponsored by the Easy Roller Dice Company, but more on that later. This week, you know, I was again thinking about the current global situation and I decided I wanted to make another build, mostly out of random household scraps. A while ago, I had made a video about making a modular iron door with a template that you could download and use for fantasy role-playing games. So I thought, hey, why not do something similar, but instead this time make it more futuristic, sci-fi kind of oriented. Of course, if you want that fantasy door and you missed it, go check out that video because it and the template are still available. The idea here is to make a freestanding little piece that you can use as scatter terrain in a sci-fi game to imply a door. I'm not a fan of very specific tiles all with walls that interlock. Nope, I like the idea of just using a battle mat or big tiles or something and a few key elements to imply what's going on in the room. So a little freestanding door like this is perfect and of course you can make a few small wall sections just to kind of, you know, outline the space of the room. I created a simple template that you can download for free and use yourself to tackle this build. I'll put a link in the video description below where you can download it. It is free, but it is pay what you want, meaning that if you do want to make a small donation to the channel in the process of downloading it, you can absolutely do so, but you don't have to. You can just download it for free. All you gotta do is print it out. You may need to adjust the scale that you print it at. It's intended that the wall sections are four inches long, but of course you can make it any size you'd like. You can use a glue stick to attach the template right to your material of choice. Now I'm using foam core, but you could absolutely just use cardboard or XPS foam cut to the right thickness if that's what you have on hand. It really doesn't matter. Each door requires three layers. The middle one is just solid and you don't need to do anything more with cutting it out. But you do want to carefully cut out the door opening on the two outer layers. Now for the door panels, you want to put two pieces of paper with a small gap in between them and place that right in the center. The most challenging part of this build is cladding the inside of the door opening to hide the foam or cardboard edges. I found it's helpful to cut the strip of paper that is wider than your material and just cut off the excess after application. And I found that hot glue was best here as it instantly held in place. It's also helpful to pre-bend the paper using a dull side of a knife blade to create nice sharp corners. The other part of this template is for the border or frame of the door. Attach it to your material of choice. Cereal box style cardboard is perfect for this. And I recommend cutting out the inner area first before cutting out the outer area. This makes it a lot easier to do nicely. Then you just gotta go to town decorating the flat areas. Use a variety of thicknesses of paper, cardstock, and found objects to add layers and different shapes. The more variety, the better. Your only real limitation here is your patience and the amount of time that you wanna put into it. I found that some leftover GW sprues cut in creative ways gave a great bit of visual detail. This is why we save junk. 
The layers of foam core are pretty ugly, but you can hide all that with some paper cladding. It's up to you if you want to then decorate that as well. Personally, I don't really think it's needed as the face of the door is the focal point. To ensure all the paper layers are sealed and bonded before paint, a coat of Mod Podge is highly recommended. Now your paint choices are gonna depend on the look you're going for. Do you want a flashy, clean sci-fi look? A dark black Borgish mechanical style? Or maybe an aged and grimy facility? It all depends on what you want. But now is a great time to experiment with whatever you have on hand. I went through a variety of spray paints, dry brushing and washes before I got something I liked. Now let's take a minute to discuss today's wonderful sponsor. Easy Roller Dice Company is right in the middle of a Kickstarter for some very cool looking dice. These elite metal dice are elven themed and hella fancy. Made from high grade aluminum, these dice are resistant to scratching and chipping and nearly perfectly balanced. The hand-drawn Elvenkind font is striking, but the most dramatic visual aspect of these dice are the colors. Vibrant clouds of color mixed with contrasting black make for a really neat looking set of dice. And as the Kickstarter grows, more and more color options will be made available. The advantage of purchasing via their Kickstarter now instead of when they hit the retail market is that you'll be able to get these sets at a considerable discount versus their retail pricing. Check the link in the video description for more details and to grab a set for yourself. Thank you Easy Roller for supporting this channel and helping me make this video possible. So I'd say this project turned out pretty neat. You could make a couple of these doors and a few sections of plain walls. And that's all you need to set up a bunch of different scenarios. Don't go too crazy making a ton of these. I think you're better off spending time making a few of them look really, really good using a variety of bits and neat things versus making a whole bunch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Hopefully it's a good quarantine project for you guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget. You can download the template. Link is in the video description. It's pay what you want, meaning it's free, or you can make a small donation to the channel in the process. If you want to pick up any tools or supplies for your own hobbying needs, well, now is not a great time to go out shopping. So again, check that recycling bin. But if you do need to get some crucial things, check out blackmagiccraft.ca. There I have links to all of the stuff that I use and recommend where you can order it online safely from the comfort of your own home. And if you enjoy these videos and you want to help me keep making them for you guys, the best way you can do that is by supporting Black Magic Craft on Patreon. Through Patreon, you can join the wonderful fellowship group full of amazing people, get in the Facebook group, the Discord server, and discuss your favorite hobby. That's it for this week, guys. Cheers. I'll see you again next week. Uh.